If you want more FIFA content from me, I'm now uploading exclusive videos to Patreon. The link for that is down below. And if you want to avoid the random lottery that is FIFA points, you can go straight to the source with u7buy.com. And of course, you can use the code TVM at checkout to get yourself a discount. What is going on, guys? TVM here. Welcome back to another video. Last FIFA, I made a video, is Crouch Meta. Now, of course... Crouch isn't in the game anymore, we'll talk about that more as we progress, because I found a player who doesn't match up exactly, but is very similar in terms of height, in terms of weak foot skill moves, and in terms of ability to what Crouch has been over the last few seasons. Now, I was really hoping that EA would acquire a license to get him in the game as an icon this FIFA. Hopefully, it will come around next FIFA because I do miss playing with Peter Crouch. He used to be a staple of the channel. I used to pick him up and do some sort of series or a video with him every single FIFA. And of course, this is the first FIFA we've had ever. Well, not ever, but Ultimate Team era without him. Now, with that being said, uh, these are the stats from his final card. Now, he did have a 90 rated card back in FIFA 19, but uh, we are going to talk about the 73. As you can see, not a great looking card at all. Uh, very poor stamina, like unbelievably bad. Uh, his, uh, his finishing isn't amazing. His uh, agility and balance, absolutely abysmal. But that, that's okay. Because last FIFA, it didn't matter too much that he didn't have great balance, great agility. And he didn't have, I mean the stamina was obviously a problem. But it didn't really matter about anything else. Because all he needed to do was make sure that you could get some sort of El Tornado cross into the penalty area and Crouch would do the rest. He was actually very good. And you can go back and check out that video if you want a little bit of nostalgia, if you're bored uh, during these times, feel free to do so. It was a, my most viewed video of FIFA 19. I'm not sure why, because all I did was play like two games with him, but still, it was um, it was nice to see a lot of people show up for Crouch. Now, I'm not trying to emulate the views here because I know this isn't Crouch, but what we are going to do is we're going to dive into a player that I've found within FIFA. He's actually within. Uh, he's actually in this week's Team of the Week moments. And this is where a lot of people turn off when they realise who it is. But we are going to talk about Milan Durich. Now this guy matches up to, uh, to Crouch in many ways. So he's actually three overall higher in terms of rating. He's one inch shorter at 6'6 six, six, as opposed to 6'7". But he has exactly the same skill moves and, and weak foot. He's got high, high work rates as opposed to Crouch's medium, medium. But every single stat kind of emulates what Crouch had in some way or another. So he's got very poor uh, agility and balance, as you can see on screen there. He's got 38 uh, agility, 35 balance. He has pretty poor acceleration and sprints, but he's actually quicker than uh, than Crouch, incidentally, but trust me, in game he feels so so slow. Uh, we've got um, good heading, but in this game you can't really head the ball because uh, crossing doesn't really do it for you anymore. I mean, I've I tried so many crosses w uh, into the box for Durich to. I hope I'm saying his name right as well, by the way, because the D isn't actually a D. It's got like a little, so obviously like a, a Bosnian Herzegovina sort of thing. There's a little line through the through the D. I'm hoping the D is pronounced D. Anyway, I digress. Um, the amount of crosses I was putting into the penalty area for him, and it either just went straight past him, or he just couldn't steer it goalwards. Despite the fact that he's got 93 heading accuracy, six foot six, so he literally towers above everybody in the penalty area. Even the likes of Van Dijk, he's visibly taller than. So it, it it's really frustrating when you play a good ball into the penalty area. With players who have 90 plus crossing and it either doesn't go anywhere near him or he can't seem to connect. He did score one cross but it wasn't with his head uh, and uh, we'll talk about that when we get into the clips. But uh, what is the point of today's video? I miss Peter Crouch if I'm honest and uh, if, you, if you've been watching the channel for a while you'll know that this isn't a gimmick. I do genuinely like Crouch in FIFA and I've played with him in every FIFA. He's had his own series on the channel for like three or four of the ultimate teams. It was only like the last two seasons I didn't really do an awful lot with him outside of play a few games and I think I got him on the road to glory as a premium SBC at the 90 rated card. I really like that but in terms of like comparing the two uh, we've We've got like um, 1,812 in-game stats for Durich, 1,673 for Crouch. So Durich is actually better in terms of those in-game stats totals and where it counts as well. So 
Crouch's finishing, for example, is 75. Durage is 81. The positioning is 81 to 80, so it's very similar there. The the sort of the shot power is very similar. The volleys, unfortunately, are not quite where Crouch is were for Durich, and Durich is playing in what can arguably be perceived as a much better team than Crouch ever played in. He did play with uh, Yari Lippmann and, and, and Steven Gerrard last year, but he didn't get to play with... Well, actually, saying that, he, he did play with George Best. It wasn't the moment's George Best, or even... I think it was the prime. Uh, whichever one was available uh, as the icon um, SBC, I think it was the prime best. He got to play with him, so actually not a, not a dissimilar team to uh, to the team he got to play in last year, but still. Um, some of the teams we were coming up against, though, of course, because Durich isn't going to fit the meta of this game, it wasn't easy to try and emulate what I did with Crouch last year and in previous FIFAs, because crossing in FIFA has always been relatively effective in, in any sort of iteration of the game. FIFA 14, crossing was a meta. In FIFA 20, uh, sorry, 19, of course, crossing was a meta. This year, they've gone completely the opposite direction with it. And unfortunately, crossing isn't even remotely meta. You can't, it, it's so hard to score a cross. And more often than not, they will give us an objective where you are um, you're having to score a cross. But um, having players around him like George Best and stuff really did help get into the penalty area. Unfortunately, for the first four games, I struggled like you wouldn't believe. That's me moving at top speed there as well, by the way. He felt so slow. And I never really noticed Crouch being that slow. So obviously I'm going to compare the two the entire way because this video, I don't know what this video is titled, but it's essentially the FIFA 20 Crouch or something like that. I'm hoping that's what I've called it, something like that. Um, I didn't want to clickbait it, obviously, because like, he can't even score that. It's just, it's. I mean, good goalkeeper. And I think it's flashback Neuer, but still crazy how he can't score that. And he's through again here. He's in on goal and surely he has to, nope, too much power on that. Not enough accuracy. I mean, what I can't remember what chem style I put on him. But either way, his finishing is much better now with the chem style than what it was before. This is full movement, and I, I just struggle to turn around and struggle to do anything with him. It's really difficult to do a drag back, slinky little back heel there. He does have one game, and it's against an opponent I've played before. Um, I know that he, I've played him before because um, the, the player pool on PC is actually quite small. So you do come up against the same sort of people. And this is the guy. He actually went a goal up. He's not a bad player. We do have some some good games. Um, his team name is, is uh, Leicester City and he's got a Liverpool badge. That's how I know it's him. Because who else would call their team Leicester City and have a Liverpool badge? And by the way, not have one Liverpool or Leicester City player in their starting 11 or indeed subs. Crazy stuff. This guy though... Uh, was the victim of Durich. He showed up in this game, and it was the only game out of the five I played where he did show up. He was absolutely terrible in four of the five games. This game, though, he was crazy good. And I don't know why he was so good in this game compared to others. We score five goals in this game, all of which are scored by Durich. The last one in uh, enraged a rage quit. Uh, I, I, don't, I mean, I do blame him. To be, to be fair, I, I mean, why ju not just stay? Because the rage quit happened in like the 88th minute or something. He scores a banger there, fair play to him. That's his fourth. And then the fifth goal coming up right here. Ball slip through to, to best. We're in the 88th. We are, yeah, ball little, I don't know, little turn there. Dinked into the penalty area. And an emphatic volley. And that's where my opponent in the 89th minute decided, you know what? I don't want my 300 rival points. I'll just take it and be on my way. So... What's the point of this video? I'm going to go on a quest to find Peter Crouch in FIFA 20. We haven't got him. I need him. Unfortunately, this didn't really feel like him at all. He has a high and average body type, whereas Crouch had a... Um, well, actually, I don't know what he had because Footbin doesn't tell me. Apparently, that's a new feature, maybe? I don't know. That's a bit of a weird one. Uh, so, either way... In my, like, if I'm, if I'm guessing what body type Crouch had, it would have been uh, high and lean. So what we need to find, uh, and I haven't looked, uh, obviously it would be quite easy to find sort of candidates for this, even if they are silver. What I need to find is a 6 foot 6 plus player that has a lean body type and maybe, because the meta is the way it is, maybe has a little bit more agility than what this card has because even though this card has he's got like 
8 less agility than what the 73 Crouch has in FIFA 19. He just felt like a, a tank. Crouch didn't feel that slow in FIFA 19. So what we need to find, because the meta of this game is agility, we need to find a player with slightly higher agility. So is this the FIFA 20's answer to Peter Crouch? It's not far off, I won't lie to you, he's not far off, but no, I don't think it is. So, in terms of how good Durich is, by the way, unless you're a fan of the club that he plays for, or the nation that um, that he obviously plays for, then I, I just, I don't think you should go anywhere near this. I'm not going to give it a proper review screen, but I am going to say 100% uh, class 4. Uh, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, you need to go check out the reviews to find out. But yeah, he, he is not a, a great card, not really an enjoyable player to use. He's, it's, a, it's a challenge if you're up for that, but other than that, I would probably stay clear. Let me know of other players who you think could compare to Peter Crouch in FIFA 20. I won't do these very often, every now and again, just as a bit of a laugh, really. But I want to try and find that card who is actually, like on paper, not very good at all, but in-game performs and emulates Crouch in that, in that manner. Not meta at all, but uh, will be fun to try and find him. If you have enjoyed this video and you want to see more, maybe with different types of players, then uh, do me a favor to hit that like button, leave your suggestions in the comments, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and until the next time, goodbye. Football Index, the game changed. Download the app now.